Hey, what's up guys? Kyle here. Welcome back to another episode of Noble Vlogs. Today we're going to continue working on the round baler. We're actually going to start taking out the rollers and replacing bearings. Last episode we got all the belts out and like I said today, we're going to jump right in and start changing out the rollers, uh, the bearings in the rollers. And so I'll stop chit-chatting, get up to the shop, and we will get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned. So which one are you hoping to start on first? <laughs> I don't really care. Well, you do though. No, I don't. I'm gonna get these chains off first. Like I said, first thing we gotta get the chains off. That way we can pull the rollers completely out other than the drive rollers. Drive rollers actually stay in to get the bearings changed. Getting all the tools on the tailgate and ready to be available in, in case we need something real quick we can just quickly grab it. Chains are off. You got all three over here. These ones are pretty well worn out so we may change them. We may just take a half link out of them and put them back in. One of them, the connectors was really shot. And then there's a fourth chain over here my dad took off. And that's hooked up to this bottom drive bearing, drive roller bearing. Chip away the inner race. Yeah. My knees down there. What's up? I don't want my knees in that concrete. Now I just gotta get the inner race tapped out. You got cut on the other side again. Yeah, we may see now we can rotate it though. What are those washers used for? That spaces that roller side to side. So that it's... It's Because it's the drive roller. Yeah. It's one of the drive rollers, so it spaces it side to side. Uh, I can just feel the heat coming from that. Yeah, well, everything's hot. I kept worried about melting the rubber off this roll. It's hot. It's hot. Well, there we go. One side of a drive roller is... Give me the light, please. ...melted off. Now I just gotta let it cool off and then we'll put the new one back in and get new washers. Dad's gonna be working on putting the put the new drive roller bearing in. So yeah, James, you need an 18 and then socket. My oldest brother and I, I have mentioned him before, but hey, let me see. This is James. Okay. And him and I are gonna be working on yeah. taking out these two rollers. Yeah. What these two rollers do is they set the tension of the baler. The purpose of the tension arm is just keep it compressed and help form the bale. So we're going to get those changed out. I 
Here, wait, 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 wait. Let me hold it. You put the take the ball out. And the tension arms, they actually, they squeeze the roller. Right. Remember, we had a heck of a time trying to. You might have to loosen the, the front ones. See the next one up. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Jumping back. Go. Right. Yep. The dust caps are just holding it. Stop. Seems kind of dry. These bearings here, you know, they're supposed to be freely, and this one's got a little bit of seize to it here. And eventually, if you know we don't change it, it'll uh, run the risk of it actually start it'll either, it'll start either, on fire. Yeah, it'll either freeze. You know, seize up where it won't move, and it, that's a good way of catching fires. And you know, we we're, this is a new baler to us. We're just you know we want to do it right before we run this for the hay season here. So now what we're doing we're putting the new bearings in. Got to make sure it's all lined up. Just give you guys a quick update. We got this one back in and we changed this one. It's a bigger one, but it's still part of the tensioner. That one really sucked just because it was heavier and it was really awkward trying to get it placed up in there and trying to get this bolt started. This one, it's a little tricky, but you can get in through here a lot better. Dad, he got the one drive roller all back together, and so now he's working on the one down below it. And that one actually has a gear on it. He's working on this roller now. And you have to, we don't have to take that one out, do we? You just gotta get the bearing off. Yeah. So, just a little update. We're gonna try and get this one Right here, try and get that one off next. It sucks even more just because it's a lot higher up. As I was saying, there was a gear that Dad had to take off in a spacer. What keeps that on is four bolts and nuts. And then of course the sensor right there. Inside here, we got four carriage bolts right there, 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 and one on the other side that you gotta hold. You gotta hold in or else they're gonna fall. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Not much going on today other than, like we said, just changing out bearings, getting it ready for hanging time. That way we don't have to worry about uh, any breakdowns or possibly fires. Uh, comment down below what you guys liked, what you wanna see. Like and subscribe like always, again, Hope you guys. Ask any questions, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Ask some questions if you guys are curious, and we will get back to you. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see y'all in the next one. See ya. Yeah.